Oh my god. You are completely in control of your life. You have to want this change in your life. You have to want to be productive. You have to want to work out. You have to want this lifestyle. You have to really sit yourself down and question, okay, what is it that I'm afraid of? Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm just kidding. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> this lighting is not doing anybody favors but it is what it is today i wanted to vlog and i wanted today's vlog to be centered around productivity how i stay productive how i you know live my life in a way that gives me peace of mind and makes me feel like i'm actually contributing to society it's currently 5 37 i woke up 30 minutes ago my alarm went off at 5 30 but I went to bed at 9.15 last night, so my body naturally just woke up at like 5. So I'm awake, and you're probably wondering, why? Girl, why? What the fuck? Like seriously, why? The reason I wake up this early is because I just wake up this early. I think I mentioned this in my last video. My circadian rhythm is one of an elderly woman, and I just love going to bed early, and I love waking up early. I mean, there's so many hours in the day that we have, and I figure why not get the most out of it, you know? Waking up early is not your thing. Don't force yourself to do it unless it's something you have to do. Like, I don't have a job to be at. I don't have an office I need to clock in. I just, I'm just awake because I want to be and it helps me with my like structure for my day and my work and everything. But this is just what I like to do. Um, but you always want to make sure you're getting those seven to eight hours, baby. If you want to challenge yourself to wake up early every morning, you know, set that alarm. It's really important to have, like, wind down time because if you don't give yourself the time to, like, actually, like, settle into <laughs> your mind and your body before you go to sleep, as corny as it sounds, it's going to be hard for you to actually, like, fall asleep. Like, if you say, oh, I want to go to bed at 10 p.m., you should probably be in bed by, like, 9 45 even 9 30 if you want to be really good don't use your phone at all and just read a book or something um i didn't do that last night anyway enough rambling let's let's get dressed y'all look at me so i got this little number from aloe yoga it's this cute like one piece unitard workout onesie extravaganza okay the only problem with this outfit is these long ass little what even is this every time i wear pants or like anything they always are too long they're always too long and it grinds my gears it's like they only make clothes for a woman over five six like what is that i bought these leg warmers to match my shrug so maybe i could like tuck the legs in. Okay, wait, this could actually be a serve. Uh, wait, wait. Okay. Oh my god, stop. Why do <laughs> It's giving, um, what's that bitch's name? Is it Jane Fonda who did the workout tapes? I am such a, like, fashion-oriented person that I will even make sure I look cute working out. Like, Every moment is an opportunity to look cute. If I'm leaving the house, I'm gonna look cute. That's a great way to get yourself motivated to exercise, is like, make sure you have a cute outfit to do it in. With the ponytail! <laughs> With the ponytail! What am I doing? I hope this footage looks cute and I don't look like a cretin crawling all over the floor. Okay, it's time to go.
Hello. So, how are you? How are you feeling? Um, it's about midday. I just came back from a walk. You know, gotta get those 10,000 steps in. Uh, the great thing about New York is that it's very easy to get those 10,000 steps because if you leave your apartment, you'll probably walk 10,000 steps. Anyway, I wanted to talk about how I managed to be more productive and efficient with my time and to be more disciplined. I do love discipline. I thrive under discipline. I think everybody does. And I function the best and I'm the happiest when I am very active and busy. And I love discipline. I love challenging myself. And um, I think being an adult and living on my own, I let, I let go of that a bit last year because uh, I moved and I was like going through a lot of changes in my life. And I was just trying to like figure out how to exist how to exist on my own without anybody telling me what to do because I'm self-employed as you guys know and it's very hard to keep yourself accountable when you're used to other people just telling you what to do. So all this talk about productivity I have to talk about exercise because exercise is the foundation of my productivity. It's the foundation of my day really. Um, it's the first thing I do. I used to think I couldn't stick to a gym routine because I've gone to the gym plenty of times in the past, but I never stayed consistent with it, which a lot of people have an issue with, and I've, I'm just now figuring it out. What really got me to go to the gym every day without fail, without even having to think about it, is just one, making it enjoyable, <laughs> and yeah, I feel like that's pretty much it. I mean, there's more things that go into it, but every day I wake up and I'm excited to go to the gym. I'm like ready to freaking go. I'm like, what are we doing today? Well, I already know what I'm gonna do today, which is another thing that will help you stay consistent with exercising is if you have a plan, you go in, you know exactly what you're gonna do because it'll just make it a lot easier for you. You don't have to think too hard about it. I just now got a weight training program that I've been doing and I'm like even more excited to go to the gym every day because I know when I enter that weight room, I know exactly what I'm gonna do and it just, takes away any like mental challenge from it. And I do workouts that I genuinely enjoy, like swimming. I love to swim. It's my favorite kind of cardio and I do it like four times a week. Um, and then I run on the treadmill, I do HIIT workouts. You know, I like to be stimulated and doing the on and off keeps me stimulated and keeps me engaged in the workout. Whereas if I was just running at the same pace for 25 minutes, I would get so bored and I like really wouldn't want to do it and I simply wouldn't after a while. I love Pilates, I love yoga, all of those things I do at the gym and they're fun to me. So you gotta make it fun. You gotta enjoy what you do or else you're just not gonna do it. And it's gonna be such a pain in the ass to get up every day to go to the gym. Now, I'm very fortunate that I can go to a nice gym. Something I learned from Atomic Habits by James Clear is you have to make these habits attractive. And so for me, going to the gym every day is really attractive because, I mean, quite literally, it's an attractive place. It's very clean, it's very nice, it even smells good. Every Equinox smells the same, and it's amazing. It smells like eucalyptus in there. It's a nice environment like I just kind of want to be there that's kind of why I spend so much time at the gym too so obviously not everybody can do that it's a very expensive gym that being said though it is worth the money and I say that because when you calculate the cost per use you do get your bang for your buck or at least I do because I go every day and I use all the amenities you saw me in the hot tub and the steam rooms and the yada yada like and I also take classes every day and most gyms will make you pay for a class and they're usually like $35 maybe even 50 depending on the class and if you want to do that every day it's going to add up equinox works for me because it has all the things that i need out of a workout like a pool and a yoga studio and things like that equinox aside it has to be attractive to you the workout has to be attractive to you and you know what's attractive 
feeling good and being healthy because I feel great after I leave the gym. I feel so light. My mind is just so clear and that's really what I was striving for. My goal when it came to going to the gym consistently was not about aesthetics at all. Now I'm getting more into like, okay, how can I change my body? How can I make myself look a certain way or just be stronger really? But my goal initially was to create routine and to be healthy mentally. I started going to the gym and working out regularly once it got cold. I have really bad like seasonal depression. I like feel weird saying it because I don't want to say like, oh, I had depression. Well, last year was really bad. I definitely was depressed last year. Like I can't even, I was doing really bad things to myself to cope and my coping mechanisms, my coping mechanisms were very unhealthy. I was in a really dark place and this year I was like, I cannot do that again. I cannot go through that again. So I told myself, what can I do to prevent this? What can I do to fight this? And I was like, well, the most obvious thing and the simplest thing, which is usually the best in my opinion, is exercising and eating healthy. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to the gym every day so I'm not sad. <laughs> and that has made my fitness journey a lot easier for me because in the past I put a lot of pressure on myself to lose weight or to look a certain way because I'm like, oh, well, I need to work out because my stomach isn't flat, you know what I mean? And that's just not an effective way to motivate yourself to go to the gym. It's never worked for me and I don't think it works well for many people. Another thing that's really important is to have a reward afterwards. I mean, this is basic psychology. You probably learned this in high school, but having a reward for yourself after the gym or whatever habit you're trying to form, this can go for anything. For me, the reward after exercise is I get to sit in the steam room or the sauna or the hot tub, all of them. I did that today, um, cause I fucking can. <laughs> I am so happy every day after a workout to walk into that steamy chamber of goodness. And it's a wonderful reward for me that I love to do. Now this reward could be anything for you. It could be, I don't know, getting to watch that TV show that came out last night, but you're waiting until after you go to the gym to watch it, you know, stuff like that. And please you know be easy on yourself like obviously push yourself and challenge yourself um, discipline is important but bullying yourself into a new habit is not gonna work trust me I've tried and that was kind of a breaking point for me when it came to getting my routine in order because I guess I just got so fed up with it that I was just getting so mad at myself and I was like oh my god like why did you let those dishes stay in the sink for so long or why haven't you done anything today like what is wrong with you and I would I would just get so frustrated and although that self-talk isn't effective there comes to a point where it gets so loud in your head that you're just like okay enough I'll do it fine I'll do it you can take that energy that you're using to talk to yourself negatively and just put it into whatever it is that you have to do. Whatever that voice in your head is telling you you have to do, just do it. And then, you know what? That voice in your head is gonna shut up. My self-talk has gotten so much better once I started living the life that I wanted to live, that I knew I could, I was just being lazy. Now, I don't identify with the word lazy. Like, I don't think I'm a lazy person. I think I'm actually quite hardworking but my hard work was very sporadic and it wasn't consistent. It was just like, okay, I haven't done anything for like three days. Okay, now I'm gonna work on a video and I'm gonna edit for like 12 hours. Like it just, it was all over the place. Sorry, I have more consistency, which has then allowed me to sustain my energy levels throughout the day, every day. You are completely in control of your life. I know we may have different circumstances, but at the end of the day, you have to want this change in your life. You have to want to be productive. You have to want to work out. You have to want this lifestyle. To get really strong, if you wanna lose weight, you have to want it enough. And when you want it, you're gonna go after it. You're gonna find a way to get what, what it is that you want. But if you don't want it bad enough, then don't bother beating yourself up over it or complaining about it because you know you have the power to make that change. But you just have to just say fuck it and do it. You have to really sit yourself down and question, okay, what is it that I'm afraid of? 
And for working out, you may be like, well, I'm afraid of discomfort. I always say, you know, if you're afraid to go to the gym or you're trying to form a habit, but it's something that's really new to you, just go to the gym and like walk on the treadmill for a minute and leave. Like if that's truly all you can do that day, that's fine. But you gotta do it again the next day. And eventually as you keep going, you'll be like, okay, well I'm here. So I might as well lift some weights or like go to a Pilates class, whatever it is. Because eventually your brain is just like, getting used to it and you will want to make use of your time at the gym rather than taking all that time to go there and just to be there for a minute you're like okay let's actually do something and uh you know if you just want to walk on the treadmill a bit i don't know like watch your favorite netflix show on the treadmill if that's what it takes to get you on the treadmill in the beginning do it. I've made it so I can only listen to certain songs when I work out. Songs that I really love that get me hyped up and I make it so I only listen to those songs when I'm at the gym. I used to be really afraid of trying to optimize my productivity. I think it's because, well, there should be a video on my main channel all about this by now, but I used to think it was making me like this capitalist pig or I was like oh I don't dream of labor and I shouldn't have to make myself be productive all the time because that's not the answer and I'm not a robot and I'm not on this earth to be productive all the time. One productivity isn't just about making money it's not just about work. Going to the gym is productive, doing the dishes is productive, taking a shower is productive, all of those things is it's productive. Going on a walk is productive, meditating being disciplined is a virtue. I really, it really is. And you will not ever regret being more disciplined and it won't make you into like some workaholic hustle culture bro. But if you wanna do that, I think that's fine. Like obviously rest is important. Do not burn yourself out because you can't hustle if you're running on empty. That's just not how it works. You need to rest. I love my life. I really do. I'm very happy and content and at peace. And I feel so, right and safe and secure and grounded in my body. I am very grateful knowing that everything that I have right now, the people that are watching this video right now, it's because of myself. It's because of what I was willing to do to get to this point. Everything in this apartment, I have completely paid for on my own. Um, everything in my life is because of my own work and due diligence and discipline and i really value that and i am so excited to see what i can get accomplished this year with a much more thought out and intentional routine in my life also i'm about to get ripped boy i am going to be like halle berry in this bitch y'all are not ready in like six months stop y'all are gonna be claiming i have a bbo that's my productivity talk i'm gonna rest for a bit i'm gonna film a video later tonight and i also have a package i need to pick up and i'll do a haul i'll do an unboxing so yeah stay tuned for that see you in a few hours but in the next clip for you all goodbye okay do you want to say hi to the vlog <laughs> Okay, I can cut that out. On your diet and exercise, it's crucial to set a healthy mindset and know your purpose to the journey. It's time for a haul. I am so excited to be doing this because one, I got me a pair of moon boots, which will be the last item I open for, you know, dramatic effect and also because i don't think i've ever done a haul i feel so youtuber right now like this is not the side of youtube i'm on usually so i got some things from aloe and i got some things from etsy so first i got this like kind of sheer green shrug moment this is cute so i also got this in brown and then I got some things from Move Dance. I got this like shrug. I actually was wearing the gray version of this this morning, which is also a part of this haul. Same with the gray leg warmers. So all of those are from Move Dance. And then I got some stuff from Aloe as well. So in the last vlog that I uploaded, I was wearing a gray or I was wearing a green 
like bodysuit, but I got the same one piece, but in black. So this is cute, very basic, but I love that green one. So I figured I'd get another one in another, in another color. Cause like, if I could, I would wear it every single day. And finally, the moon boots. The moon boots! What we've all been waiting for. I'm so excited. I'm also like so nervous because if these are like, ugly <laughs> i'm gonna be so mad i know i run a risk here because they're super big and i have no idea what they look like in person <laughs> so i'm praying that this works out for me i was like is this a good idea because it's kind of like a trendy piece to be fair they've gone in and out of style many times over the past few decades so i mean if they're out of style they'll come back in like 10 years so it's fine Ooh la la okay we got the box Oh my god. Ah, look at them! Oh my god. This is... I mean, they look how I expected them to look. They are big. Like, look. My head, this shoe. But the real test is when we try them on. Oh my god. These are literally like... They really are astronaut shoes. What do you think? I'm sure people are going to be like, these are so ugly. <laughs> But I love them. Look, my feet look so small. They look non-existent. So this is the look. <laughs> I don't know how these like fashion girlies make fashion videos in their apartments. Because where do you go? Yes. Yes. Are we digging it? Are we vibing? They're so, <laughs> they're so cute and so ridiculous. Like, what is this? Who invented this? Who invented this shoe? Oh my god. This is definitely a winter boot. Although, I don't think these- these are definitely not built for the snow. Like, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get some cute winter boots. And I'm like, these are slippers. <laughs> these are slip- Dems is slippers. Well, it's been a great day. I'm gonna end the vlog here, but I hope- this was entertaining for you all and I'll see you in the next one. Go check out my last vlog and of course check out the main channel vids and I will see you in the next video. I'm just doing a little fit check. This is cute. Okay, goodbye.